I'm Len. I'm Mr. Used. Well, I started this about 26 years ago. And it was uh, sell something, buy something. Sell something, buy something. Try to save it from going into, this, into the garbage because there's a lot of stuff that can be recycled and reused. I have three grandchildren. My son is 28 this year. My daughter is 43. And my wife, she has to have a great deal of patience to put up with me. I treat people the way you want to be treated yourself. You'll never have a problem in life. As everybody says it's coming, but it's not coming to me. <laughs> I started this about 26 years ago. And it just seems like I bought a load of stuff in it. Then I bought another load of little small stuff. I went to, my sister worked at Sears. She knew the guy in the warehouse. They were doing some renovating and they wanted to clear some stuff out. So I went there. And since I didn't have enough cash to pay for the first well, actually, I had done some previous deals with them, some smaller ones, but this was a major deal. I didn't have enough money to pay for it, so he gave it to me up front, and I said, okay. So my first load I took out paid for half of everything. And from then on, it was sell something, buy something. Sell something, buy something. Look for something unusual, look for something more unusual try to save it from going into, this, into the garbage because there's a lot of stuff that can be recycled and reused. As you can see by just looking around the building, there's quite a bit of paraphernalia here. We do a lot of stuff with movies. We do a lot of stuff with uh, theater, uh, local and Toronto, quite a bit with Toronto, quite a bit uh, movie productions as well. Somewhat of a museum here now, Len. <laughs> Yeah, there's a Harold's actual, Harold's actual really first guitar there, too. That is fantastic. I love that piece. Harold's Pat McKenna. He's one hell of a comedian. Yes, yeah. A very, very, very good guy. Okay, well, um, as you can see, most of this stuff here has been on the Red Green Show. If you look back over the, the um, different episodes, I'm sure you would see and, and notice some of the stuff that we have here. The, uh, this is, was the one they sat at at the end of the day or near the end of the show when they were doing the quiz thing. They're, you know, I guess a word, guess a word, you know. It was very good. They were a little bit, uh, I think I know a lot of typical people with that same type of mentality. But uh, just good stuff, just all really good stuff, good recyclable <laughs> stuff. And, and it can be used you know, another 10 or 20 times to, to put it back in somebody else's props. Now, the Red Green Show was a successful syndicated very, Canadian show? Very successful syndicated Canadian show. And these are actually moose calls for, for doing, for hunting. They're, um, they're uh, birch bark or, birch, they're, uh, they're actual birch bark off the trees and that's the way they would make them for, for uh, a moose call. Before we get so sophisticated and get into all the, the new stuff. Hey Len. You have a huge collection of uh, pretty well everything under the sun here. Do you know where everything is and do you know the value? Do you know everything that you have under the roof here? Well, there's a few things I don't know the value of. Like there's some paintings I'd like to get appraised, but I just don't have the, haven't had the uh, motivation to go and do it yet. I probably should. It would pay my taxes, <laughs> which would be nice. Um, everything else, if I, I should know where it is, the reason... If it comes in and they put it somewhere and they don't move it, it's going to be there. But um, if they uh, move it, i got to find it too. So the so, the sometimes in, they do that. But. The inventory is pretty well on your mind, is it? You don't have anything written. No, I don't know where it is. No, nobody knows where it is unless you put it there and don't forget it. And uh, other than the fact that it comes in on the, on the, if it comes in on the books, it's got to go back out on the books because it's... We record it as it comes in, cataloged, and then it, it goes to a certain area. Some stuff is here too long, it's going to get tossed. If it does get tossed, that's, that's normal procedure for anybody's business. How large is the facility here, Len? Um, 69,864 square feet. Do you want to just maybe mention that this building, Mr. Used, is? This building is Mr. Used. And it used to be uh, Glendale Spinning Mill before that, and prior to that, as far as I know, Stafford Foods. 
and possibility of it originally being part of the armories at one time. But uh, as you see now, it's um, a good place to come and visit. You want to do something for a day, the whole day. It takes you a good three or four hours to get a good chance to walk around here. So and see a little bit of, a little bit of it. You won't see it all one day anyways. But. So what made you pick Hamilton as opposed to, uh, you know, any other uh, town or uh, municipality in the area? You know, Hamilton is like any other, oh God, I hate to see stuff like that not put in place. Um, Hamilton um, has changed over the years since I started because uh, at one time I was selling a lot of storm windows now I'm not selling storm windows, I'm selling replacement windows. And you don't always have the size, but uh, probably 65 or 75% you do have a good variety that will substitute for what they've got and, and replace it and update it. Uh, only a few uh, are still collecting the uh, storms for cottages and, and uh, maybe the odd ones still can't afford it for their houses. But on the overall, there's more stuff that seems to keep walking away in all the parts I'm looking for. Do you want to talk about the ecological value of uh, keeping the stuff uh, recycling rather than uh, throwing it out? Well, you know, it's, it may, I may not throw as much out as I should, I probably don't, but um, uh, there's uh, the fact that it doesn't, if I have it here, it's not going to landfill. Usually we're trying to recycle it and put it back into somebody else's property and let them use it for whatever they want. And, and there's some really creative people out there with some creative ideas with some of the older stuff that I have. Um, the, and eventually we do have to weed out and eventually we do have to throw some of it away. But it's not all getting to the landfill at once, that's for darn sure. Many film companies come in and uh, uh, scout? Lots of film companies come in here and a lot. Well, I think we did 22 movies the last probably four or five years we've done at least We've had props on at least 22 movies. We have had um, Ryerson students for for props. We've had Sheridan students for props. We've had Dundas Little Theater, um, the one uptown here, um, three or four more uptown, Dunville as well. Uh, the religious one up on uh, 56 High, 53 Highway, Redeemer College, I believe it is. And they're still coming, and we still get them. We still get them. Uh, they actually have some stuff reserved for for their uh, next shoot. It's just that or their next uh, production, but they're not ready for it. So you're open to general public contractors, to basically everyone. You got it. I'm open to everybody. I'm open to anybody. Everybody. I just, if you're going to bring your kids, please make sure they behave because too much stuff to get hurt on. And there's also the fact that. I'm not a babysitter. Don't bring them if you want me to babysit. Because they're not coming in. <laughs> or they're not staying, that's for sure. One sec. Hello. Hello? Yes, darling. Good, thank you. Yep, I'm here. I'm not necessarily I'm working, but I'm here. I'm great, thank you. And I haven't had my lunch yet, so I can't tell you that it is so good, but I know it will be. Yeah, I know, that's all right. I'm, I need to lose some weight, too. Thanks for pointing that out to me. <laughs> no, okay, I got you. Okay, bye. It's my wife. I think. I think you have to give people good deals or they're not going to be back. And I've, I just read, I just found out they did have a hate mail thing for Mr. Hughes that they didn't seem to, they thought that I was too expensive and so forth. And I'm thinking, like, not all the products I have are available. So if I price it a little pricey, it's because they're not available. They just don't understand that. that just because it may not be an antique, but it's still 40 or 50 years old. Can't and get it's, it anywhere else. And you're not going to get them. Um, Len, the thing is here, you probably have people that try to negotiate and they probably make you some ridiculous offers. So, um, oh, yeah, definitely. There are some people that, uh, that hopefully the door doesn't hit them on the way out. But uh, lots of the times, if I 
if they hit me on a very, so say an unusual day, I may have perchance even dropped something that may have a few dollars value simply because it's an insult. You know, if somebody comes in and offers you uh, next to nothing for, for something that does have value, I mean, they, they got to think you're a real idiot or something to, to sell it to them at that, at that point with this much, this much stock and much inventory to, to maintain. Ah. Well, at the same time, you probably have some regulars, those that you can respect, and you probably don't mind giving them well, a I break. do. Yeah, I do have some good regulars. I have some really good guys that come in all the time, and they're always looking for doors and windows and uh, maybe some trim for around the doors they've changed or the windows they've changed. And uh, hardwood flooring, only a small job. Sure, I got you know I got enough to do a ten by ten small room or a bathroom or enough tile to do a bathroom, some sinks, toilets. Why buy a new toilet when the one that's working is still good? Bleach will kill. 99%, I think it is, of the AIDS virus anyways. And uh, years ago, I listened to a uh, test in regards to that, and it was uh, proven that the bleach is quite good for killing it. What were you born in, Len? Um, I was born in Garbage, Ontario, a couple hours, two and a half hours from here, roughly. And I was only there till I was about uh, nine years old, I think. And then my father worked on the road, so we moved to where, where he was working and ended up here in Hamilton. Um, I don't know how I got in the junk business, or I'd say secondhand salvage business, other than the fact that I got a good deal on one load, and, or a few loads, and just kept buying and selling, and kept buying and selling, and now I'm well stocked with everything. I'm gonna have an auction maybe in another couple of weeks, maybe a month. And weed some of it out because I do want to change up. I want to get rid of some of the stuff I've got. And uh, I don't think that I'm losing money on it. I'm just renewing an empty spot for something, hopefully, a little better. Hey, Len, now on TV, you've got all the barter guys, storage wars. Does that affect the way people treat uh, your merchandise here? Um, you know, I never looked at it like that. I, I don't look at I very rarely even watch the show. I mean, I the odd time I have watched a couple of shows just to see what it's like, but what they're doing nowadays, I was doing 30 years ago, you know. And um, a lot of the stuff I think is, is um, I mean, there are some really good, if they're, if they're buying some of that stuff that I see on there, there are some really nice stuff out there available. And I think I would like to get away from here and do that myself, just go around and see what I can find and pick up, but... Uh, well, ru rumors are that some of that is staged, because, uh, you know, some of those deals that they're portraying, oh, sometimes it's just too good to be, yeah, to be yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, and even myself, I used to go with a guy, and he used to, uh, uh, after he's bought the a locker, he'll go in there and he'll pretend he's rummaging through, and he'll bring out this purse or something, and it's full of jewelry, and it's all good jewelry, but he just, he brought it with him, and he stuffs he, it in. He planted it he, there. he planted it, he planted it. Like, he didn't plant it for anybody else to, to take, but he would take it in with him, and he walked back out so happy. You now he spent, you know, whatever he spent on the thing, but now he's going to triple or quadruple his money. And, and, the, and the people who own the merchandise, I think they have a right to a certain portion of the profit if it's sold. You know, I don't know about that. I don't know whether they actually, if it does profit more than what they owe, which normally it doesn't anyways, because uh, the, the individual or person that's buying the locker uh, has the right to sell anything for whatever he, he can get out of it. But the, the, the only one that's uh, really, that they're liable to is just where they're renting it from. And these people here, if they, they're not gonna go a couple of months to go by, I've seen them, you know, for quite a few months, 10 or 11 months, they get, they're on the record. They come back. Yeah, they may never get their money back. I mean, well, the majority, they don't get enough money from the auction to pay that bill. So they just have to cope with it. Elaine, hey, tell me about your family now. Tell me about, uh, you know, do you have a grandchild, that granddaughter I just met? How many, I have three. How I have three grand, I have three grandchildren. Uh, Matthew uh, uh, is the oldest, which is... Uh, Oh God, I think he's 22. It's cleaning me up a major one. My son is 27 this year. 
uh, 28 this year. My daughter is 43, and my wife is 42, I think. Yeah, she's not going to appreciate <laughs> you giving up her age. No, she might not be 43. She but, could but, be older. But, but I think she could be older. How long you've been together and how happy she makes you. Stuff like that would be good. Yeah, my wife's a very, very wonderful person. She has a great deal of patience, and she has to have a great deal of patience to, to, um, to put up with me. And I certainly do appreciate her. She's a wonderful person, and she keeps everything fantastic and, I, and does not argue. She makes you lunch. She makes me lunch every day. And because I'm putting on some weight, I've been trying to go to a salad, and now I've got a salad in my lunch, which is another bonus for me. <laughs> I don't make it myself. It's, it's pathetic. My, 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 no, no. So, my wife's well, fantastic as far well, as that goes. What, what would you be doing, Len, if you weren't doing this business? Well, oh, I got I don't know. I, I would enjoy doing anything, everything. I, I don't mind working, and I uh, worked at Ford for a few years, and I actually enjoyed I enjoy work, so I enjoyed the job. Everybody I seem to talk to, they're complaining. they got too much to do, too much of this. Just enjoy it. Do what you can do. You're healthy. Do it. <laughs> don't quit. Don't, you know I mean, just don't turn your back on anything because... There's so many opportunities out there for everybody, and I I understand that um, our new generation is not necessarily as motivated as much as they should be, and they don't they don't want a hard job. You know, the hard job is not going to it's only going to teach you to appreciate work. And when you find that better job, sure you're not working as hard, but you're probably working your mind twice as hard. So it all turns out in the end. Talk to you while you're doing that. Okay. Well, I think I'm pretty well. Okay, that's all right. Now listen, every time I come here to visit you, Len. Yes. I see uh, uh, a steady stable of friends that. Uh, friends, yes, lots of friends. Well, I think I've accumulated quite a few friends. But but these are guys that uh, find this uh, a good uh, a haven. They come and they are appreciated. They're you you must. You must be, um, what's the word? You, you must embrace that, that support and you probably... Oh, I don't, turn to any, I don't turn to anybody. I treat people the way you want to be treated yourself. You'll never have a problem in life. I tell you, uh, there are so many people that do drop in that, that um, just appreciate them for who they are. I don't, don't try to, because you don't always like what they're doing or you don't feel... I mean, I've got people that come here that I know that live at the psychiatric hospital, but they get their days out. These people are great people. There's nothing wrong with them. Don't look for aggravation. Don't look for problems with them. Just enjoy them for who they are. Hey, you right, Polly? You don't expect anything back from them, do you? Not a damn thing. Say it it's from the beginning. I don't, I don't. And I don't want anything other than, other than just, hello, Len. That's it. That's good enough. Just to recognize the fact that you know that you're, that there's, there, that, you're their friend. They, yeah, they appreciate you as much as you can appreciate, no matter how, how whatever their, whatever their concerns are, it doesn't matter, you know. Nice. Friend that comes in here, he's he's in the, he's been up in the psych ward for at least eight years, and he's a super guy, like he's strong as a horse, and he loves to just walk around. And he'll put things back in place if he sees them out of place, or he'll he'll um, come down and say, oh well, you know. Does this go there? I said, no, it goes up there. And he'll, he'll move it. And he doesn't, you know, give me a cup of coffee. I said, sure, buddy, I'm going to buy you a coffee anyways. What's the difference? How, how did the name Mr. Used come about, Len? Well, that's a different story. <laughs> I don't think it was over the, uh, the equipment and stuff. I think it's over, uh, um, let's just say that it was, uh, oh, God. How do we put this for you discreetly, Paul? Do you want to, uh, hang, on, hang on, I'm hearing that sound. Do, 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 do you want to repeat my question? How did the name Mr. Hughes come about? Do you want to repeat the question? Yeah, repeat the question. So you go ahead. <laughs> uh, I think it was just because it, how, I, how, what, what's just because? I think it was because... What? Mr. Hughes. Well used. <laughs> come on, <laughs> the name is to use. How did it come about? Well, I went out one afternoon and it was, I was supposed to be working, but I wasn't working, but when I came back, uh, one of my buddies that was there said, um, it looks like you're well used up. I go, used? <laughs> yeah, you could say that. So that's where it came from, basically, from, from uh, too many afternoons away from work.
That's what took you so long to tell us the story. I think so. Well, it's a true story. It's all that matters. So if you weren't here tomorrow, for some reason, say you retire, this business will stop existing? Nope. Nope. Actually, I've, I've uh, allocated certain percentages to people that, will can, that can keep it going. Anyone in the family, your nephew or someone else? Uh, not necessarily, but I mean, there is family. Yeah, there is some family orientation into it, but uh, it'll be, it has to be um, something they want to do and continue. And I don't know if they do, so that's up to them. I give them the opportunity, and it's here if if they want it. Hopefully, they do. But and my son would be nice to see him here, but uh, he's. Can't, can't other, guarantee. Other, other aspirations? Yeah, he wants other to. Plans? Yeah, he wants to do something else. Well, he has wanted to do something else in the past. I think now he's sort of regretting that he's not here with me at times because there are times that he, that I'm sure he feels that he's missed here. Yeah, I've never met your son. Uh, it's possible. Yeah, he hasn't come around as much as he used to, and he's working too, which is good. Are there any major accomplishments in your career, Len? Anything you've received? Any citizen of the year? <laughs> no, <award? laughs> no, no, definitely not. Definitely not a citizen of the year. Taxpayer prompt, you know, payment. Oh my God, are you kidding? My taxes are so far behind. I'm, I'm, I think every day, am I going to be here tomorrow? But I got to, uh, that's why I'm going to clean some stuff out, put some money on the taxes, rent out one of my other buildings instead of filling it up and... Uh, It'll cover the tax, and I'll say to hell with it. I'll just take it a little bit easier instead of stressing. What's the heating bill here like in the wintertime? Good. Very good. It's high. <laughs> we only heat the area at the front there where, where we have to sit, right? The rest of it, you can keep warm. If you keep working hard enough, you can keep warm. But uh, it's, at least it's got a roof on it. I worked uh, for years without a roof, and I worked... Uh, Outside, a lot, a lot of the last two places I've been at, and uh, here has been like, uh, you know, who cares if it's a little cold? Who cares? Oh, I remember you working outside. That's how we first met. Yeah, I loved it. I loved, actually, I didn't, I, I don't mind the cold as long as I don't get to the point where I'm <laughs> frozen up and I got to get my toes and hands all thawed, but keep me out there for a few hours. And then forgive me if this question is uh, is inaccurate, but you know when we first met, you would wear your hair long in a ponytail? Oh. You have that North American native uh, look. <laughs> is, is there a, a background in your... Not that I know of. No? Yeah, not that I know of, but then I was... Uh, Rebellious? Um, yeah, I guess you could say that. No, my wife wanted shorter hair, that's why I got shorter hair. And she certainly worth uh, listening to at times, all the time. Happy wife, happy life. Happy wife, happy life. We both know that one. That's why you and I are so close, because we understand <laughs> the rules. Yeah, don't want to screw that one up, that's for sure. Wait, wait a second, I, I gotta join in here for a second. I gotta come in here. Oh, good. Okay, now Lynn and I are gonna <sighs> get rid of that. Just do the brotherhood thing, do the, the spill something. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, you got the long hair and I don't, well, right? Give me, give me that handshake, oh, man. This is fantastic. Oh. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Well, I'm enjoying doing this uh, uh, to, to help uh, dispel the myth of who is Mr. Yu's. And I'm, I'm hoping that you're also going to be uh, happy with the results. So far, we haven't really uh, exposed anything uh, that uh, you, you wouldn't want to, uh, to share. No, no, it doesn't matter. I don't Good. care. Good. Perfect.